It's one of the state of Michigan's most beloved treasures. It's stunning. It's picturesque. Its wild, untamed beauty is unlike anything you've seen before. Welcome to Pictured Rocks National Seashore, located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, along the shores of Lake Superior. Pictured Rocks was the first place in the United States to receive the designation of a national lakeshore back in 1966, and it's managed today by the National Park Service. The park encompasses 42 miles of lakeshore and covers just over 73,000 acres. The park is flanked by two towns, Munising to the west and Grand Marais to the east. These rocks tower 50 to 200 feet above Lake Superior and stretch for about 15 miles. There are arches, castles, and caves, all sculpted by the elements. The park also has over 12 miles of beautiful beaches, 5 miles of sand dunes, and over 100 miles of hiking trails that lead to streams, lakes, and forests. There are also lots of waterfalls and lighthouses to see. The name Pictured Rocks stems from the streaks of mineral strain on the weathered, sculpted sandstone rock cliffs. When the groundwater seeps through the cracks and trickles down the face of the rock, magic happens. Iron leaves behind red and orange, copper, blue and green, agonies, brown and black, and limonite, white. It's a stunning canvas that's framed with the sparkling blue waters of Lake Superior and the rich green forests of pines and hardwoods. So let's talk about how to make the most of your time here. Here are some of the things you can do and see at the Pictured Rocks National Seashore. Many of the areas in the park are accessible by vehicle or short hiking trails. Pictured Rock Cliffs are obviously the main attraction, and the best way to view them is from the water. The first thing you should consider is a boat tour. This is an exceptional way to see the Pictured Rocks. There are several options. A boat ride either during the day or at sunset. There's a glass bottom tour boat to explore the sunken ships in the area. There are also kayak rentals that allow you to paddle up to the cliffs. Any of these get you onto the glorious water of Lake Superior and up close to the colorful pictured rocks. Miner's Castle is probably the most iconic image in the park. Even if you don't have a lot of time to spend here, you can drive to the Overlook and walk out 5 to 10 minutes to see it. It's the only cliff accessible by vehicle. There's a great trail that will take you through a maple and hemlock forest that connects directly to Miner's Beach. You're able to drive to the two locales, but the trail is really quite beautiful. Once you get to the beach, it is a mile of sheer sand perfection. As a side note, this is where Kid Rock filmed his music video, Born Free. Sand Point Beach is another beautiful spot to walk, swim, and enjoy the sunshine. Watching the sunset over Munising Bay is lovely too. The Sand Point Marsh Trail goes through a wetland area and is a wonderful place for birding. You can also find the park headquarters here along with the Munising U.S. Coast Guard Station. On the eastern shores of the park, you will find the Grand Sable Sand Dunes. These dunes stretch for five miles and are perched at a 35 degree angle above Lake Superior. It's here you'll also find the Log Slide Lookout. This is the point loggers from long ago would send down the logs to the lake to be loaded up on the waiting ships below. Legend has it that the wooden chute that guided the timber down the dune would sometimes catch fire because of the intense friction from the logs. There is a spectacular view of the Osable light station and a path that descends 300 feet to the water. 
The picturesque lighthouse, called the Osable Light Station, stands on Osable Point on the south shore. Built in 1874, the base is 16 feet with a height of 86 feet. It also goes 23 feet underground and is anchored in bedrock. A brick oil building and fog signal building were added in the 1890s. In 1909, a new residence was built so two keepers and their families could live and work there. The white light could be seen 17 miles out. The U.S. Coast Guard took over the light station in 1945, replacing the civilian keepers. And eventually, the National Park Service took over in 1968. The lighthouse still operates today with a solar-powered automated light and it's open to both climb and take a tour. Perhaps you've seen the U.S. quarter that pays tribute to Chapel Rock, another scenic wonder here in Pictured Rocks. Many call it a miracle tree, the lone white pine growing on top of Chapel Rock, the only link to the mainland is a suspended bridge of roots. The Park Service estimates it's at least 70 years old, but its growth has been stunted due to the harsh elements. 60-foot waves and cold, brutal winters. But it still stands. For many, it's a symbol of strength and survival and is inspiring to see in person to understand just how this powerful pine continues to defy the odds. The UP abounds with waterfalls, and there are many to see in the park, most of which can be accessed by foot. Munising Falls is a 50-foot waterfall flanked by wildflowers and ferns. There's a paved 800-foot trail up a shaded canyon to the base of the falls. Miner's Fall is another 50-foot waterfall. There's a gravel path that will bring you to two overlooks, along with stairs for a lower view of the falls. You'll have to hike a little over a mile to get to Chapel Falls, but the 60-foot waterfall cascading into Chapel Lake is worth every step and Sable Falls rolls down a 75-foot slope. This one, though, is at the bottom of 168 steps. There are several waterfalls that can only be seen from the water as well. There are three campgrounds in the park, or you can backpack into the backcountry there are sites in all of the camps with water views. The Alger Underwater Diving Preserve at Munising was the first preserve in Michigan and offers many things to see, including shipwrecks, sea caves, and rock formations. It's one of the most popular scuba diving areas in the entire Great Lakes region. There are many shipwrecks to explore, including the Bermuda, the Smith Moore, Herman Hetler, the Kiowa, the Manhattan, and the Stephen M. Selvick. Spectacular in all four seasons, this breathtaking landscape is truly a treasure and one of the great wonders, not only in the Midwest, but in the entire United States. Visiting Pictured Rock National Seashore is a must-do on any tour of Michigan's Great Upper Peninsula. It's quite simply picture perfect. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and click to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next video about the shores, outdoors, and more.